you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. That was a smaller ship compared to the... Oh, it's an eyeball! Ew! It's gross. Okay, but that was pretty epic to watch twice. I've watched that twice now. That's the second time. Um, but that ship was smaller than the uh, Aurora, which means that if that thing shot down the Aurora... It, I don't think that thing... That thing probably would have been able to blow up the Aurora, but it didn't. But it blew up that. Unless there's a different gun... They shot it down, unless, yeah, well, it could be that. But I kind of, okay, I kind of want to check out the Aurora. And I just realized I don't show much of traveling in this. Honestly, probably my favorite thing about this game so far is the traveling. Like, I know it sounds probably stupid, but like... Because you, you could just sit here and drive the Seamoth for like hours upon hours and just still come across the same stuff but it's, it's like a different thing each time and it just feels epic what the heck was that my water bottle be kind of goofy see and they got some sort of disease on them apparently i got a disease too do i want to know what disease i have nope okay we gotta go over there i learned this new trick last time you go hold space and you go wee you fly. It's great. Oh, that little fishy just ate it. I wanted to build a base, but I kind of wanted to just check out the ship. Because building a base will have to be a whole separate video, and then that'll be a long video. <laughs> <coughs> Oop, my bad, sorry. I didn't mean to cough in the mic there. Are you okay? You probably can't even hear the... Yeah, I should fix that. There we go. Hopefully you guys can hear it better. If not, I'll change it in the freaking next thing. Is that destroyed freaking life pod? Those dude's torpedoes didn't work. So I don't know if we can recharge these power cell batteries, but I think I might have to make a new one because I don't have the stuff to charge it. And I don't know what you need to use to get those. Those are like titanium nodes. I don't know what you how you get that though. Oh shoot, poor little fish. See, there's a reaper over here, but I'm afraid that it's gonna kill my sea moth. So I don't know if I should go. Oh uh, yeah, we'll go in with the sea moth. But I just gotta hope that the sea moth don't die. Oh god, that guy's right there, and he's scary. I don't even think the reaper can fit in here. Oh, this works perfect. With these eyeball crabs. Here, we'll repair you. We gotta name it. We should give him a name. That'd be cool. You always gotta name your first vehicle. Uh, we'll name him... We'll name him Charles. He looks like a Charles. So I think I needed this gun. The... What is it called again? The propulsion... Holy crap, look at my inventory. So full. The propulsion cannon. I did a bit of grinding off off camera. I've been getting a whole bunch of stuff that I need for uh, the next episode, I believe. But I'll, I got it all on that island with the gun over there. Or is it over there? Wait. I wonder if there's multiple islands, or unless it's those two. Okay. So this is where I got to last time before I... I think I died, but I'm not... Yeah, I think I died, but I'm not too sure, so... 
I gotta fix this. Hold on. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm probably nice and loud. Yeah, cargo bay. I think we needed to go to cargo bay, but we can get there because I didn't have this. But now that I have that. Oh, dude, it's literally all of my stuff from last time. I'm not even joking. I didn't know it was still here. I had a lot of good stuff. Shoot. Uh, it's... What can we get rid of? That. Definitely this titanium and gold can go. Oops. I keep accidentally pressing the wrong button. And it's kind of irritating me at this point. Dude, holy crap. There's so much batteries. Okay. We got like so much full batteries. I forgot that when I died, your stuff drops. Oh gosh. Did I need something here? Hold on. Uh... Data bank. Oh. Okay, thank you. Um. Where would this be? Life pod data downloads. Oh, Aurora. No. Oh, codes and clues. Note to self. Cargo bay code. One, four, five, four. I gotta stop pressing that button. One, four, five, four? Oh, sick! Cargo bay? A desk? We could put a desk in those multi purpose home thingies. I was looking at that earlier today. Like when I woke up, I logged, out, I logged in to check it out. Whoa, what is this? Cyclops engine fragment. Oh, we already learned the Cyclops. It'll be for a future episode. Integrating new PDA data. <coughs> oh, my allergies have kicked in. Okay. One of the largest suppliers of spacefaring technologies and consumers electronics in the Federation. The official suppliers of TSF. Consistently ranking amongst the galaxy's best employers. Begin life as a defensive manufacturer in the mid 20th 22nd century uh get what you forget what you deserve national i love that okay and my phone just dropped that was probably loud although most trans gov can trace their roots back to earth altera literally meaning by earth is the only one brazen enough to take its name during the expansion altera supplied arms to all sides acquiring a housing of vast colonist workforce and making a transport for malfunctioner to cooperate state Altera's threat to seize trade I can't speak was one of the turning points in the conflict bringing about the end of the hostiles and the singing of the crater free enterprise within Altera space is encouraged but completely is tight or er, come oh yeah and all good exported off-world must be Altera brand. Profitable businesses are bought out by the state owners ascending to the board of directors well-known Altera technologies like the Cyclops submersibles originated with such private enterprise. So, hold on. I gotta grab my phone. I'm getting text. Okay. Um, so, it says that any exported off-world goods... So. Like, my diamonds and stuff I can't sell? Okay. Because they wouldn't be mine. It'd be Altera's property. That makes sense. Because I work for them. But despite su superficial sim similarities to national governments, the cooperation lawyers have always maintained that it, is no, that it has no legal obligation to its employees, but voluntarily elects to take on the roles usually served by a democratically in elected government. This claim has not yet been tested in federation courts okay finally so i can't bring home any of this can't bring it back to the bay come on she would love a diamond oh well i'm stuck on this freaking planet for what how much years three million something like that she'll probably you know she'll move on to some other dude wouldn't be surprised <gasps> 
No, I would I would actually be surprised. Where do I go? Seamoth Bay Drive Room. What's down here? Literally nothing. Okay. Seamoth Bay or Drive Room. Hey, let's repair that. It weird it is weird that my oxygen isn't going down and this is shallow enough. Whoa. VR, VR suit log. Holy cow. Player 2 wins. Player 2 has died from cold and starvation. Player 2 has traded 30 credits for a musket. Night falls. A passing ship is offering trade. Someone was playing VR. It's hilarious. Uh, spawning players on beach. Player 1 has been washed away by unusual high tides. Uh, that's great. Hey, what's this? C Seamoth Depth Module Mark 1. What? Hold on. Let's drink that. I'm taking that. I don't know if we have one on. What was this? Oh, Seamoth Fragments. Oh, we already can learn the Seamoth. Oh, I might need the laser cutter for that. Prawn Bay? Locker room. Well, we have the diamond now, so I'm not worried. Unless you can get to the Prawn Bay, a different. Oh! Where's my knife? The drive core shield sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. Whew! Wait, it's malfunctioning? Like, it's gonna blow malfunctioning? God dang it. Hey, what is this? Cyclops engine efficiency module one. Um local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Yeah, let's let's fix this. Can we fix it? What do we need to fix it? Just repair it? Ten breaches detected. Do we gotta go down? Oh, I can just jump down. My bad. Yeah, let's repair this. You know, I know this engine room a little too well. Cause I've been sitting here most of my life. Since I was a wee, a wee lad. Seven breaches detected, okay. Oh, dude, get off of me, you freaking blood sucking leech. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Five breaches left. Okay. Dude, we're repairing the freaking ship. Yo, we can soon we'll be able to just fly out of here. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches. Actually, probably not, because if that cannon thing, right? If it basically shot us to the point where the the generators, the fuel and stuff was exposed in atmosphere, then it could probably just blow up again, so we should probably get rid of the gun. See, now, this is the thing that doesn't make sense, is it shot the sunbeam out of the sky, right? But they entered orbit, so did we enter orbit? Like, were we trying to land on this planet in the first place? Because it seems like we were, because we have all of the right schematics and stuff for planets like this. Hey, we fixed it. Drive core breach sealed. Radiation levels decreasing. Radiation levels decreasing. Good to know. Hey, there's actually, wait, there's another one. There's another thing over there. Hold on. Does it have something in it? I'm about to go look. Ah, uh, see, it doesn't. This music is very serene. Whew. 
So I need the laser cutter in order to get the prawn suit. That's what I'm going to assume. Yep. Okay. So in that case. <clears throat> in that case, we're going to get the heck out of here.